in this lecture uh, we will discuss the solution of the previous uh, practice questions uh, that is in lecture 11 uh, actually we discussed some question and uh, now we will discuss the solution of that particular question okay and it's also based on the multiplication uh, by n or differentiation in a set domain uh, properties based questions okay uh, first we will see uh, the question y of n is equal to n into a raised to n into u of n. Uh, now we can see how uh, we can approach this particular question. For example, uh, in this question uh, if you take the part a raised to n into e of n, you can consider as the signal x of n. So, I can write uh, the signal x of n is equal to uh, a raised to n into e of n and the transform of uh, this particular signal uh, is a non signal uh, and the transform of this particular signal is z by z minus a and the roc of this particular signal is modulus of z greater than a because it is a causal signal and now we can see that uh, the new signal is a product of x of n into n so we can write like this uh, the new signal is equal to n into x of n because uh, the question is n into a raised to n into u of n ok so it is a product of x of n into n so there is a transform of such signal we can apply the multi uh, multiplication by n property or differentiation property so this is the property uh, z minus z d by d z into x of z ok based on this you can write uh, here this x of z ok this x of z is z by z minus a now we can apply this uh, so d by d z z by z minus a ok we need to differentiate this so when you differentiate this you will get minus z into z minus a numerator sorry denominator into derivative of the numerator this one minus uh, numerator into derivative of the denominator is equal to 1 ok uh, and the denominator you can write uh, z minus a the whole square ok and uh, after simplification uh, you can see that uh, it is minus z ok uh, so here there is a term called z ok and there is minus z so you can cancel these two so remaining is minus a so minus into minus plus so z a by z minus a the whole square ok and the roc there is no change for this roc because uh, in differentiation property the roc will be same so modulus of z greater than e so we got the result uh, for this particular question now we will discuss the next question and if you look at the second question uh, is almost similar to the previous one but there is only a small modification uh, that is a raised to n minus 1 into u of n so again uh, you can compare this question uh, rearrange this question uh, this n into a raised to n minus 1 you can write a raised to n into a raised to minus 1 into u of n ok and if you rearrange this this a raised to minus 1 becomes 1 by a n into a raised to n into u of n ok so if you compare with the previous question uh, is same as n into a raised to n into u of n so from the previous uh, question it is again n into a raised to n into u of n and the transform is also already, uh, already we derived uh, this is z a by z minus a the whole square so we can write the transform of this particular signal directly ok from the previous question you can write uh, the transform of this much portion ok is uh, z a by z minus a the whole square ok but in this case there is an extra term uh, that is uh, 1 by a 
yes, okay this term is actually multiplying assembly constant so by applying the linearity property you can say that so the is a transform also obey the linearity property so linearity property so based on this linearity property you can simply multiply by this one by so your final answer will be like this okay uh, z by z minus a the whole square and roc is also same for the previous roc is more or less of a so means this is a point a and roc you can say that is outside this circle with radius a okay this is roc okay we'll discuss the next question uh in this question uh, again a uh, slightly modified version of the previous question uh so it's n square into a raised to n into u of n so again uh, this question we can write in this if you n into n into a raised to n into u of n okay and uh, from the previous question uh, we know that uh, n into a raised to n into u of n Okay, when you discuss uh, the previous question, the same n into a raised to n, and the answer is is a day by is a day minus all square. Okay, based on this, uh, you can slightly modify this uh, n into x of n. Okay, here this much portion we can uh, written as x of n. Now uh, the transform of this particular signal is uh, is a transform we can write minus is a d by d z of x of z and the transform of this particular signal okay this the x of z is simply written as z a by z minus a the whole square okay and the roc is modulus of z greater than a okay from the previous question uh, uh, we got this result so again uh, substitute here uh, minus is said d by d is said uh, is is a day divided by is said minus a the whole square okay and uh, now we can simplify this okay uh, uh, simplification uh, you can write uh, you can take a common so minus a is said and remaining uh, you can differentiate this so a z minus a the whole square and the derivative of uh, z that is 1 minus numerator that is z into derivative of the denominator that is 2 uh, okay 2 uh, into z minus a and the denominator you can write is said minus a the whole raised to 4 because all square and again a square now again you can simplify this uh, and uh, you can see that there is a common factor is said minus a and is said minus a so if you take uh, is said minus a common uh, you can write is said minus a and remaining is at minus a okay uh, minus 2 is it and denominator it's is at minus a the whole raised to 4 now we can cancel uh, these two terms is at minus a and raised to 4 now it is all q now the result becomes uh, minus a is said and if, we, if you simplify the portion you will get it becomes minus is said minus a okay and uh, denominator it becomes is said minus a the whole cube and if you take this minus outside uh, this becomes plus and this becomes plus and this also plus okay and this is the answer and the ROC is same as the previous case uh, the same ROC uh, same ROC means here the pole and uh, 
can construct a circle and ROC is outside this particular circle. Okay. Now we will discuss uh, another question. Uh, is, uh, here you can see that the small difference is not u of n is u of minus n and again it is a raised to n and n. So now we will see uh, this problem uh, in a different way. Uh, so first we will take uh, u of n okay, and the transform of uh, u of n is a transform is uh, you can write uh, it is simply z by z minus 1 in a, and the ROC is modulus of z greater than 1. And now we need to apply the time reversal property. Okay. It is a time uh, reversal property. So, time reversal property say that uh, if there is a signal x of minus n, its transform will be x of 1 by z. Okay. And ROC also we need to change as 1 by z greater than 1. So, based on this, so we can write uh, the u of minus n. Okay, u of minus n you can write it is 1 by z again 1 by z minus 1 means you can write uh, is simply 1 by 1 minus z okay. and the ROC if you rearrange this uh, you will get modulus of z less than 1 because now it is an anti-causal signal. Okay now it is an anti causal signal so roc will be inside the circle now uh, we got the signal e of n okay now we need to multiply by a raised to n so now the signal a raised to n into u of minus n now we can apply uh, the multiplication by an exponential okay property called uh, multiplication by a raised to n okay property so based on this property i can say that uh, the transforms uh, will be uh, for example if there is any signal uh, in this form okay uh, a raised to n into x of n okay i can write uh, the transform is x of z by a so i need to replace z by z by a so here x of n is equal to e of n and the transform is given so a raised to n into u of minus n and the transform i can say that it's 1 by 1 minus z by a okay and the roc also we need to write like this is modulus of z by a you need to change z by z by a okay or you can write its modulus of z less than modulus of a okay and now we need uh, the next part now the uh, it is multiplied by a factor n so now we will consider this much as a common signal okay uh, now you are multiplying this signal a raised to n in the u of minus n by the signal n. So, again uh, it is a differentiation property uh, signal n into something. Okay. So, we can write minus z okay. and if you rearrange this uh, you will get uh, d by d z okay. uh, a by a minus z and if you differentiate this minus z and the derivative you can write a minus z okay, into 0 minus uh, a minus z sorry Uh, now we need to write the numerator uh, that is a okay and the derivative of the part is a minus 1 okay divided by 
a minus c sin the whole square. So, again write uh, it becomes minus c sin uh, this part becomes uh, 0 ok and only thing is uh, minus a into minus 1. So, you will get uh, a ok minus c sin by a a minus c sin the whole square and uh, now we are applying the differentiation property. So, here we are applying the differentiation property. So, ROC will be same. So, I can plot the ROC like this, uh, this A and in here it is modulus of is less than A means this is a circle and inside this particular circle okay, this is the ROC. Okay. 